What's going on, fight fans? This is Sean with BoxingAndBasketball.com. Just giving you a quick update. Let's talk about this David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant fight. Now, most people didn't give Caleb Plant a chance to win at all. And if you look at the fight, you know, the first three to four rounds, I mean, he was doing good. I mean, he was hitting him with everything except the kitchen sink. But Benavidez has a good chin. And he was able to weather whatever Caleb Plant threw at him. And even at a post-fight press conference, he said that he didn't feel Caleb Plant's power. A lot of people, you know, listened to Birdman before when he said, hey, you know, Caleb has power. He just don't know it. I'm trying to bring it out of him. Because when he's sparring, he's putting two guys. Um, you know, with that being said, you know, you look at the Darrell fight. And the question you got to ask did he knock Darrell out with power, or was it a beautifully placed hook to the chin? And most people are going to say, hey, it was a beautiful punch, right combination, right time. But as far as power, you know, David said many, you know, you know, I just, he got average pop, average punch, but not enough to scare me or, you know, I'm going to go into hiding or anything. All right, so with that being said, uh, it was still a great fight. The first three or four rounds, Caleb Plant was putting it to David. But everybody knows David's a pretty slow starter. But when that fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth round started to come around, he started landing his shots. It started to have its wear and tear on the Caleb Plant. And um, he was he was putting it to him. And But you got to give uh, Caleb Plant credit. I mean, he took those punches. They're ferocious punches. Most of the people thought the fight should have been stopped and that Kenny Bayless did a horrible job. And most people are wondering why was David getting all these warnings and Caleb Plant wasn't getting any warnings for holdings. Here, here's the name of the game. If Caleb Plant can get away with holding and Kenny Bayless ain't going to say anything, then that's what you're supposed to do. It's the ref job to warn you and deduct a point and stuff like that. But if Kenny Bayless wasn't going to do that, then so be it. And most people think Caleb, Kenny Bayless, they think he's a great referee. But they think a lot of people think that age is catching up to him and he's starting to lose his step. I don't know if that's the case. Um, he's definitely going to hear about it. There was too many complaints online about Kenny Bayless. And I'm sure the Nevada State Athletic Board is going to have a review and talk to him about mentally being fit and capable of continuing the job. Or, listen, sometimes it could just be a bad night. You know, we hear most people talk about how fighters have a bad night. Hey, referees can have a bad night also. Uh, regardless, Benavidez closed out championship rounds. And you might have said most thought it was going to be stopped. And believe it or not, Caleb Plant actually dug down deep in that 12th round. Because Bradman, around the 10th, 11th round, was talking about stopping his fight if you don't show him anything. And it gave Caleb Plant that little bit of extra to go ahead and, you know, muster up something and like, hey, man, I'm going to push through. And he actually came out and did pretty good. It wasn't enough, but he didn't give up. So salute to Caleb Plant. With Benavidez being a winner now, uh, we're looking for him to face Canelo Alvarez and just take all the belts at 168. Or most people think that or they're looking for Jamal Charler to move up to 168 to face him. But let's see what the future holds for uh, David Benavidez. Congratulations on the win. Caleb Plant, you still got some left in the tank. Let's see what's next for you as well. Until next time, this is Sean with Boxing and Basketball. We signing out.